Even the most glamorous events don't always go to plan. A faulty sprinkler drenched the Golden Globe's red carpet before Hollywood's finest arrived. Once safe and dry inside, they set about celebrating one another, the price being the butt of a few gags first. Gravity is nominated for Best Film. It's the story of how George Clooney would rather float away into space and die than spend one more minute with a woman his own age. And the Golden Globe goes to... Jacqueline Bissett. The might of great British movie hope started with a TV win that seemed to surprise even the winner. She wasn't the only one lost for words. I'm not going to lie to you, right now, they put up the wrong stuff on the teleprompter. Yeah, where's the envelope? And Emma Thompson reminded us all that this is an event where drink is served. She was a nominee, okay. along with Dame Judi Dench, for playing Philomena Lee, the real Philomena, who searched for the son taken from her, was there. But it wasn't their night. And the Golden Globe goes to... Kate Blanchett, who judge. It was a win for the UK-based director of the British-produced Gravity, and a Golden Globe went to U2 for original song in tribute to Nelson Mandela in Long Walk to Freedom. If one movie did win big, it was another based on real events. And the Golden Globe goes to Amy Adams, American Hustle. Jennifer Lawrence, American Hustle. American Hustle. So, too, a true story of financial excess. It was disappointment for the British actor okay. Chiwetel Ejiofor, we who'd been tipped for glory in 12 Years a Slave. And the Golden Globe goes to... Matthew McConaughey. But 12 Years and its British director took the night's big prize. I'd like to thank my wife, Bianca, for finding the book 12 Years a Slave. Thank you, darling. I'm going to forget someone. I'm so sorry. I, was, I, I wasn't expecting this. Um, please hit me. Go on, hit me. Hit me with, with the name. <laughs> And next stop for Hollywood, it's the Oscars. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm.